Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. If you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. You guys know what is up with that. So today's video is going to be a simple one. We're actually going to be doing a little brow tutorial. I'm going to be doing it on the right side. I'm using two products from CoverGirl that I cannot say enough about. The CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel as well as the 710 Soft Brown Brow Pencil. I mainly focus on this product because this is amazing, but if you want a more defined brow, I use this guy. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing my kind of feathery brow look, then just keep watching. All right, guys. So as I mentioned in the last clip, we're going to be using these two products, which I love this freaking brow gel. I think this is so great for making a feathery brow. You kind of put this through. It actually creates kind of brow hairs in a way because you guys will see in the next clip how I don't have much brow hair at all and it's really light. So this does something really special for me, and I've been seeing a lot of reviews on the new Patrick Ta, the brow wax, wax which I want to try, but this, I think, does a similar effect. You put this through your brows, and after you are finished, you can kind of push it like Patrick Ta does to laminate it, and it does the same thing. And this lasts all day. It's a drugstore product, really inexpensive. And then I've loved this brow pencil forever. If you follow me on Instagram, at Shannon Shaw's Beauty, You'll see how much I mention this brow pencil. It's just, I only have a little bit left, but I have a backup already. But yeah, it just has a fine tip on it. Like I said, I use mine in soft brown 710. There are different color options. And this one is in medium 110 for the brow gel. I love both of these products, but this tutorial is mainly focused on this product. And then I just show you how to kind of make it more detailed with this one. But yeah, if you guys want to see my quick feathery brow tutorial, then I'm going to insert that right now. All right, guys, so we're going to get right into doing the brow. So as I mentioned in the previous clip, we're going to be using CoverGirl products. We're using the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in 710. I only use this slightly. I don't actually use this every day. But the real product that I mentioned that I wanted to talk about is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. And this one's in 110 Medium. So these are the products I'm going to be using. I'm just going to use a little mirror from, let's see... Something that's not going to blind you. I'm going to use my Morphe Glamour Bronze, like the mirror that's in here. And we're going to start on doing the brows. So this is a brow gel. I like that it really holds my brows up well. And I usually just take a little bit, take a little bit of the excess off the tip. And then we're going to go in and just kind of brush through the brow. So I usually start kind of closer to the edge. I like to brush them up. You can already see the strokes that it's making. If you get a clump, it's fine. You can just kind of like brush it out. And I really like this kind of like feathery brow look. I've been doing this quite a bit. Now I am pretty sparse right here in the brow hair. So I like to kind of like push it against and kind of mimic actual brow hairs, even though I don't have a ton of brow hairs there. And I mean, you guys could see what I started off with working with for my brows. Like, even just looking at that compared to that doesn't look, like, so much better. So I'm just going to put a little more product. And I like to dip back in. I like to make this edge a little bit darker. So we're just going to add a little bit more here. Now, right here, I'm going to add a little. I'm going to take off the excess. So there's that brow done just with the brow gel. It does not make a huge difference, and I barely have any brows. I think it looks so good. If you want to sculpt it or make it a little bit different, I just go in with the brow pencil. And I kind of just define right here and pull this down a little bit. And if you have like any sparse areas that you kind of want to pull down, you can do that as well. But even just doing that makes a huge difference. Just go in here. And that's just kind of the area that I want to define more. And then you can kind of take whatever you have and just like 
push it up. And it kind of holds it all in. I think it looks so good. I love it. I love doing this with my brows. And if you need like an extra little hair here, you can always go in with your brow pencil and then define that bottom part. So what do you guys think? Do you like that? I think it looks so good. It's just an easy brow. I'm going to do this one really quick off camera, but I thought I would show you guys that. That's how I've been doing my brows recently, and I just really like it. I think it, I think it looks really nice, and these are both affordable products that you can get at any drugstore, so let me know what you guys think, but I kind of like the new feathery brow look. All right, guys, so I went ahead and finished my brows. Of course, you've seen in the intro that I had my brows done but i hope you enjoyed the little brow tutorial i have been getting a lot i've been getting asked a lot about my brows and kind of like the feather brow so i wanted to show you guys that i hope you enjoyed the video hopefully i'll get to upload some more for you guys but i love you guys so much make sure you subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy it hit that like button and also the notification bell because you know I'm not the most freaking uploader, and that'll tell you when I upload. But yeah, guys, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.